Hey there, Commanders. So, I'm going to do a quick overview of the two module rewards that are available this week in our community goals. The first is actually the most interesting. It is the increased caustic damage and capacity enzyme missile rack. You get this by fighting for the Neo-Marlinist Order. The caustic damage effect from the enzyme missiles is kind of interesting. I actually have a dedicated video just about the enzyme missile rack because I thought the concept was super cool. The application, however, is not. The Enzyme Missile Rack only does 2.5 damage per second. It's tick damage, so you only have to hit the target once, and then the caustic damage effect sticks for mm, about 30 seconds. But it can't track like a smart missile rack. This is dumb fire. And the damage doesn't stack, so multiple missile impacts do not increase your damage per second. Which means that this thing doesn't really do all that much despite taking up a medium slot. I mean, there are size 1 weapons that have a higher DPS rate than this thing does. It used to not be like this. The Enzyme Missile Rack used to be way more powerful. Uh, when it was first released, it, it was actually one of the dominant weapons in PvP, once you got the target shields down. But FDEV nerfed it into the ground, and it's never been relevant since. I'm wondering how the caustic damage increase is going to be applied if they increase the tick rate or if they increase the base damage per tick cuz i don't know if this were uh, if this were modified upward to something like 5 then the caustic enzyme then the caustic damage from this missile rack would be relevant against some of the medium hull tanks the federal piggies and the chieftain but unless this damage can pierce shields it, it's not going to hurt a fertilance or any of the large ships uh, the, the trick with this module is that if you have anything north of a thousand absolute hull, it's just, it's just not, there's just not enough damage here to really care about. It doesn't hurt you in a PvP fight, especially like since shield tanks are the meta. I mean, once this does not breach shields, so you can't really, can't really apply it. I'm curious though. Like part of me wants to go and do this just so that I can evaluate if the caustic damage increase is even effective. Um, the increased capacity is kind of meh. Um, ammo capacity has never been the enzyme missile racks problem. Uh, you, yeah, that's really all I have to say there. There's not much going on. Uh, but if you're in PvP at all, this guy is probably the most interesting thing to date. High capacity with long range is potent. Long range is favored among PvPers, especially who like to use the mouse and keyboard problem that this has fundamentally is that you're only going to get one and I'm not sure how well it's going to sync up with other railguns in a multi-railgun build. But I don't think there's a lot of PvPers who are going to care. I would probably stick this on my Imperial Courier because it has a direct, a direct relevance there and I could definitely use it. But I don't really have a good place for this to fit where it isn't firing out of sync with all the rest of the weapons on my ship. That's kind of a nitpicky reason not to like it, but the concept is definitely there. Uh, especially since high capacity on a railgun will give it essentially two burst fire. So for each trigger pull, if you hold it down, you get two slugs and then it reloads and you have to pull the trigger again. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. Um, the primary reason why high capacity gets fitted in PvP is so that you can get that double tap and potentially get more damage and time on target. Um, but high capacity also increases your synthesis efficiency, so you can not have to worry about ammo as often. Long range is another big favorite in the PvP community. I think it might actually be the better favorite because it takes the railgun all the way out to a ridiculous range, and the farther away you get with the railgun, the more accurate it becomes, since all fixed weapons get just a little tiny bit of aim assist you can do some ridiculous amounts of module damage with a long-range railgun in this configuration. And there are some PvPers that would probably take Feedback Cascade and switch it for Super Pen, just so they can take advantage of that. Uh, but Feedback Cascade is definitely a very powerful experimental, and it, with double tap and long range, it, shutting down shields would be trivial. So uh, this is probably the favorite. And actually, if this is already at 13%, and this is at 2. Um, that that railgun is definitely the favorite. This is going to get popped out really fast. Um, we're already up to 51 million for the top 10 list, and 40 million down here for the other module. Yeah, 
uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna last long if we're getting 13 percent a day this is probably going to complete before the end of the week this probably isn't so uh, that's yeah that's basically this week's module rewards I'll catch you guys later